Good morning, everybody. I am back here for the second of four segments with Will Higgins, formerly of the Indianapolis Star. And you have a great new touring company where, briefly, what do you do with people? Take them around to interesting, weird, unusual places <laughs> and tell them odd stories that they couldn't possibly know and which will fascinate and thrill them. Okay, now this is a well-known park. It is? University Park. And everybody has seen this statue. The famous Calder Fountain yes. in Dip Depew Memorial Fountain. But that's kind of old school for you. We've seen that. So let's go over here, mm -hmm. because I never even saw this, but there's a story. What is this? Well, this is really quite an interesting little piece of public sculpture. It's called the Pan. And um, it's a half goat, half man dude out of uh, Greek mythology. It was first placed here in the 20s, and it, was, it went along just fine until 1970 when it was stolen. They built a new pan, stolen again, they built a new pan. And it, and it was <laughs> in the late pan? 90s yeah. vandalized repeatedly. And I don't mean just paint thrown on it. I mean, the arms were severed from this little guy over and over again, at least three different times. And they, nobody could figure out what was going on. Why? Who would hate this, this harmless little fella? Well, the War Memorial Police, who are responsible for this area, they suspected it was a, a wino or a drug addict selling the arms for bronze, scrap bronze and, <laughs> yes. and, and getting high off of it. Um, the sculptor, whose name was Roger White, thought that it could be because when he sculpted Pan, who was, you know, traditionally in Greek mythology, a horny little dude, he sculpted him in the anatomically uh, excited state. And, um, <laughs> and so that's, a, which is unusual in a bronze. And so he thought maybe that was offending somebody, but, but it turned out n neither of those were correct. Okay, I gotta interrupt you. His mate is on the other side, correct? Correct. Okay, we gotta go here, but tell you, once again, the name of your company is? Will Higgins Tours. Where should we go next? How about we go to the site of Kurt Vonnegut's humiliation? Okay, that sounds really good to me. We'll be back, stay with us.